Where's the craziest place you've done the deed? The craziest place was on top of a Ferris wheel. What about the kids? Yeah, what about yeah, the family? The children. <laughs> I'm JC. And I'm Armana. And I'm setting up my beautiful ex on a blind date today. We didn't work out because I'm a Gemini, he's a Pisces, and we all know that Geminis are superior. I needed somebody at my level and he's like, you know, a little emotional. I would say she's a little bit in her own world. Sometimes you're not really in reality based. I'm leveled. Sure. This is why we didn't work out. Yeah. What are you looking for on your blind date today? Someone who I can kiki with. Loves physical touch, loves Beyonce. No Scorpios. Someone who we could stay home and we can maybe cook together. You cannot cook. I can cook a little bit. Spaghetti is not cooking. <laughs> Armando, why did I let you do this? Hey y'all! Hey. Hello! Hey. Today's very special because you're gonna get a chance to date my ex, JC. Y'all ready? Yeah, let's, let's go. Do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna go around the room, tell me your name, your horoscope sign, and what do you like to do for fun? Let's start with you. Oh. Hi, my name is Smet. My sign is Cancer. I like to go to theme parks, host dinner parties, and cook for my friends. I love that. JC loves to eat, so that's a plus. <laughs> Next. All right, my name is Chris. I'm a Libra Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Libra Rising. I like to travel. I love to go to brunch with my friends, like to go out, have a good time, go to dinner. Okay, next. Hi, I'm Garrett. Um, I'm a Pisces. I love fashion, I love styling, shopping, and I love to travel. I've been to over 30 countries. JC loves going to Europe, so that's a plus too. You. Next. My name is Felipe. I'm a Libra <laughs> through and through. I love trying new things, new food, learning a new language, traveling to a new place in the world. It's like invigorating. Okay, nice. And last. Hi, I'm Rosie. I'm a Scorpio sun, a Gemini moon, and a Capricorn rising. I know that's <laughs> a lot. So you're a Scorpio? <laughs> yes. Okay, I've heard what I needed to. Rosie, I'm sorry, you will not be dating my ex. JC lives by the motto, no Scorpios allowed. I'm sorry. Wow, wow. You said the word. I'm sorry, Rosie. Scorpios just don't give. They're liars. They'll take your car and not give it back to you. They'll mess up your pH balance. So now that we kicked Rosie out, let's get to the real questions. Garrett, what do you do for work? I work in retail. I work at a luxury fashion house, selling handbags, ready to wear. What do you like most about fashion? I love being able to express yourself with fashion. Obviously, as queer people, expressing yourself is important. Chris, what do you do for work? I'm a product development manager. I help brands and clothing labels create labels for their clothing. Very important question in terms of what JC likes. Who's the designer? Ivy Park. Beyonce. Okay. Parkwood. Okay. Like, come on, let's do it. Check. Adidas. Right there. Check. <laughs> Smith. I do digital marketing for a luxury hotel brand, so you know I can get a good deal for a vacation okay. in Europe. Okay. Felipe, what do you do for work? I would describe my work life as like the Hannah Montana life. The Miley side, during the day I work in brand strategy at a major financial services company, so I get that money, six figures, period. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, six figures. The Hannah Montana side is I do TikTok and Instagram, so it's more like lifestyle vlogs. Second question. We all know JC can't cook for anybody, so Smith, what are we cooking at home? I'm Indian. I grew up in India. Fresh naan out of the oven, chicken tikka masala, paneer tikka masala. You could really get close to my heart with a little bit of chicken masala here. Garrett. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a chef boy or a D, but I could cook something basic. I can make a nice chicken. What seasonings are you using? We're using adobo, obviously, okay. garlic, salt, and we're getting pepper in there too. Chris, what are we making? So I'm Dominican. I love making chicharron de pollo con arroz blanco. Felipe. So I'm Colombian. I was born and raised in Colombia. Yeah, so a good bandeja paisa. You can only eat one last meal for your life. Is it gonna be a Dominican meal or Colombian? Ooh, probably will be McDonald's. I don't know. <laughs> I love McDonald's, so. So I made my decision, and it was not an easy one to make. Garrett, you will not be dating my ex. He needs to eat. Does he? He does. Uh, okay. Now go feed him the snacks. Right. Oh, Garrett, you're just not my type. But someone out there possibly loves unseasoned chicken. Just not me. Well, congratulations. You're the top three contestants to date my ex. Felipe, what's your kissing style? I would say passionate. Like, I'm trying to, like, forget who I am when I'm kissing you. I'm trying to become one. If you were to ask your partners how your kissing style was, would it be the same answer? Yeah, I think they would say sexy. 
um, passionate. I love passionate kissing. I like to kiss like it's the end of the world and it's our last time we ever gonna see each other. Smith. I would also describe my kissing style as very passionate, sometimes a little feisty, mm. because that just means that I want you. I want you bad. Feisty. Yeah. Chris. I'm big on intimacy, so I'm very passionate. I like to get wild. It usually leads to other things whenever I am kissing somebody. What happens if you're kissing someone, they have bad breath, you're gonna tell them? Yes. Oh. In a heartbeat. Why, why, ill? Are you gonna give them a mint and give them a second chance? No, but I will give them a mint. <laughs> and you'll say? And I'll just, I gotta go. Cause I mean, why your breath stink? Smith, are you the person to make the first move? Depends on the situation, sometimes yes. What's the first move physically? I just like walk in, I'm like, hey. Okay. What's up? Okay. Like, like, okay, oh. that's hot, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good first move. Felipe. Yeah, I'm not afraid to make the first move, of course. What's your first move, physically? Yeah, I usually just like look down and look up and I just smile. That's it? <laughs> That's it? Yeah. What about a thigh grab? No, honestly, a smile in my eye contact is all it takes, honestly. Ooh. Chris, are you the first person to make the first yes. move? It's all about the eye contact. I'm very assertive. And if I want you, I'm gonna get it. Oh. We're gonna get into some spicy questions now. Oh, God. Chris, where's the craziest place you've done the deed? Take your pick. I've done it on a rooftop, a staircase, and also a movie theater. Smith. Oof. Obviously, I'm a member of the Mile High Club, but that's not the craziest place. The craziest place was on top of a Ferris wheel. That was fun. What about the kids? Yeah, what about yeah, the family? <laughs> we were on top, like, you know, it was kind Somebody of a quickie, but. Top. What about the Mile High Club? That was just a flight attendant. Ooh. Not on the job. That's a little bit too much. Felipe. All my family lives in Colombia, so I go like three, four times a year. I rent out a finca, which is a house in the mountains and like the jungle with like a huge pool with a beautiful view of the city. So yeah, in that pool, in the in the forest surrounding the house, like in that finca in like the jungle of like Colombia. What animals are in the jungle in Colombia? This one right here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, wow. Do they have bears there? Don't worry, I can protect you. JC, sweetie, who are you leaning towards? Just don't cut my man Felipe. That's <laughs> it. I'll think about it. Okay. All three of you are amazing. Smith, you're an awesome guy. Funny, spontaneous, adventurous, but at the same time, I can't have my ex being on a Ferris wheel potentially ending up in the ER or maybe arrested. Period. Chris, amazing body, beautiful legs, yes. but at the same time, my ex needs second chances sometimes. Mm. What if he forgets Listerine that day and you cut him? Felipe, beautiful smile, amazing personality, and I know you're strong, but at the same time, what if an animal comes at you guys in the jungle in Colombia? I can't let anybody scratch that beautiful face. I made my decision. Chris, I'm sorry. You will not be dating my ex. Hey, how's it going? We know each other. Wait, we do. You're kind of fine, too. I mean, I am. And you know, you know I, I like bald men. Chris was very attractive, very shiny. I love shiny things. Can I just grab your head? The back you can, head? you can. Come on. <laughs> and you'll never be able to do that again. <laughs> oh! Secretly between you and I, I eliminated Chris because I need him for myself. So you've made it this far, the top two. You're this close to falling in love with my ex. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel great. I'm also nervous. What's As you should be. Next? Felipe, how are we feeling? It feels right. Everything happens for a reason. I don't chase, I attract, and I'm here, oh, so. At this point, I'm still really, really feeling Felipe. But let's see what Smith is giving. JC is bringing you home to his family. His little sisters are super important to him. What activities are you planning to get to know them a little bit better? Probably take them to the mall, you know, get them some food. And I'm sure they would like to go shopping. And I love going shopping, so. Felipe. Well, obviously I would ask them what they want to do. They probably want to do TikTok, so we'll do TikTok dances. Do you have a favorite TikTok dance move? Um, well, like, I feel like TikTok dances were so 2020 pandemic. What was yeah. like the renegade, like? <laughs> <laughs> Name three things you and your partner must have in common. Felipe. My main love language is physical touch. So I'm gonna be all over you in public and private, it doesn't really matter, I love that. And then second, I would have to say is like sense of humor. Like I'm very funny and I love laughing. I take everything super not serious, I'm super unserious. And then lastly, like live music, like experiences. I love going to concerts. The last one I went to was Beyonce, the Renaissance tour. So good. So honestly, seeing Beyonce live, seeing anyone live, honestly. 10, 10, 10s across the board. My partner must love Beyonce if they do not love, and I don't mean like, I mean love Beyonce. I'm sorry, it's not gonna work out. She's queen mother. Second, must love food. 
I like to go out and eat. I like to cook and eat. I'm eating all the time. And also, like to spend quality time. Even if you're just sitting down and not even talking, it's a quality time we are spending together, so, yeah. You're planning an intimate date tomorrow night with JC. What does the intimate date look like? Probably get like dinner somewhere first, take a nice walk, battery park or something. I love the views there. That's real local. Okay. If it's intimate, then it's definitely just gonna be me and him in a private setting. So probably my apartment. I live in West Village, so it's a really nice area. It's a very cozy apartment. After we just like chill and like catch up, we could go walk around my neighborhood. It's super nice. Maybe do like a little picnic in like the grass area overlooking Jersey City. And then yeah, going back to my apartment, chilling, maybe getting some takeout. I love good Thai takeout. Did you like their answers about the activities? I think it was cute. I don't really like to go to people's houses for the first date because you just never know who could be a serial killer. I am so nervous right now, I barely can even talk. Like, I'm about to meet my man, possibly. So I made a decision, and it was a very hard decision to make. Smith, I love your passion about Beyonce. My ex can possibly do every choreography known to person that Beyonce has done. But I'm afraid your feistiness might come in the way of your relationship because he's feisty too. Felipe, your idea of an intimate date sounds beautiful. You seem like you really want to get to know his little sisters, but do you care a little bit more about West Village and walking around your beautiful neighborhood? Or will you care more about my ex? So I made a decision. I'm sorry, Smith, you will not be dating my ex. Maybe you just can't handle all this spice. I definitely do think Smith was a little bit more of a diva than I would have handled. Felipe, how are we feeling? Are you ready to date my ex? I'm ready, let's do it. I'm so excited! This is the moment y'all been waiting for. JC, trust me, I made the best decision. Felipe, you're gonna fall in love with my ex. I could feel it. You could take off your blindfold if you wanna see him. Hey. <laughs> Oh, you're really cute. No, wait, you're fine as <laughs> What? How are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> you smell really good. Oh, okay, good, thank you. I like drawn myself in cologne this morning. Really? What set Felipe apart, he just sounded self-assured, not in a cocky way, but I knew Felipe was fine. I could hear it in the voice, you know? Hey guys, we actually have a plot twist here. JC, you can either go out with Felipe or get back with Armana. <gasps> I really, really do have a lot of love for Armana, but Felipe is fine. That was very much the past. Sorry, sis. <laughs> we'll always be sisters. That's the last time you played in my face. <laughs> Listen, we're better off as sisters. I love him, but his love is for someone else, and I wish him the best. I can feel your vibes from behind the curtain. Really? It was giving. It it's was the, definitely it's giving. It's the energy, it's the frequency. He's very much my type, so I think this is a perfect match. I think I found my person today. I don't, I don't know what you think. So how about that Colombian food? I know a great spot in Queens. Let's go. <laughs>